Right. <laughs> and you would be? I would be Leslie. Who, who would you be? I would be Roger. All right. Well, Leslie and Roger. And Welcome to the Leslie and Roger show. And for <laughs> just for now, not forever, um, you are Leslie Siskel and I am Roger Ebert. Okay. That sounds and like a plan. since we've got those pseudonyms, we ought to act on where they came from, like Grading movies. Yeah, and that's what we're going to do. That is exactly what I we're have going a little to do. list of movies we've been watching, oh, you're and they're all me. they're all pandemic type movies. I call them pandemonium movies, but yeah, pandemic, that's okay. Pandemic, too. pandemonium. It's it sort of goes with why we're sitting here yeah. and have been for how many weeks oh, now? <laughs> about six weeks, seven weeks. About six weeks and. And we normally aren't big TV watchers. We love going to a movie at the big screen, but... What, what was a movie? A real a big movie screen? movie with big screen and... Oh, you mean the, the seats that lie back and... Yeah, that's the kind of movie uh, house we like. Stadium seating yeah. or, yeah, or whatever yeah. it's called. Especially after a hip operation. That was yeah. great. <laughs> right. Anyway, we've been watching these movies. Yes. And since we've been at home for all this time, social distancing and being safe, people, being safe. Mm -hmm. We took our masks off to talk to you yeah. um, because we were in a safe space. Actually, because we left them in the house by mistake. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise we would be wearing them. Yeah. Um, but we, we've watched some films. Yes. And uh, we've yes. got a list here. Yeah, well, you've got your list, and I've got mine, and we haven't talked about it, so this should be interesting. Let's hope they're the same list. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I was watching the same film since we were sitting next to each other. I kind of put them in uh, some kind of order. It's like you put them in... Um, in um, well, I, I, I just put Chronological the, order. Well, I put the dates. Like yeah. uh, the, the first one was from 1995, yeah. and, and the name of it was Outbreak. And um, Dustin Hoffman, Morgan Freeman, oh. Donald Sutherland, Rene Rousseau, all good actors. Um, you know, seeing it now, it, it was uh, a little scary. Because that was, by my calculation, 25 years ago. Wow. <laughs> and guess what? We are more or less doing exactly what happened in that movie. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 along with the good versus evil, the doctors versus the military, the government, um, we're seeing some of that now. <laughs> well, Not to get too political, yeah, well, but we are. I and have, and I have to hold you back a little bit okay. on that count, but... But everyone else bet, knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what do you think, you know, for, for that movie, what were your... What were your feelings about it? Well, um, I agreed that the uh, the act actors, the cast of car cast of actors, was absolutely outstanding, and they did a, they did a great job. Um, and so, so, same thing happened with another one of these. Yeah. Uh, well, I I thought, as you say, they were great, but Donald Sutherland can play a evil bad guys so <laughs> which wow. is which is unusual oh my gosh if you want to see, just watch donald he was yeah. great yeah. <laughs> well um i was um taken with the graphics in the movie of the bloody scratching of somebody's arm oh, uh, that had been oh with the monkey yeah yeah and not only the, but worse than that far worse than that uh, and I hope this was the right movie, but where the guy was coming out of a movie theater. Wrong and, movie. Wrong movie? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, I Contagion. Think, right? That's Contagion. I think so, but maybe but you're there was right. Some, no, maybe I it think, was your movie. I think I saw no. some of that in this. I think that was in this one. I think it was. I'm wrong, folks. He's right So the again. guy, <laughs> no, first time for everything. <laughs> yeah. But this guy, this character, comes out of the movie theater. He's going to go get some popcorn or something. And he coughs, which, of course, is common to all these movies all the time. And he spews out his droplets. Of course, they're colored red, bright yeah. red. And so you can see where they land. And they went in slow motion. So, oh, slow motion. It freaked us out. Oh, and yeah. we both started coughing, I think. Yeah, of course we did. <laughs> and then we were like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so that so, was really something. So something else in that movie that I want everyone to remember because 
I'm going to refer to it again in another movie, was when they, um, you know, closed off the town to try to contain the virus yeah, yeah. and to they were looking for a monkey or something, but they were closing off the town. And what did the people do? These people got, you know, the guys got in their big old pickup trucks oh, and they said, we're going to ram right through here. No one can tell us freedom, what to do. Freedom. We're freedom people. Yeah. And they went right through the barricade. Blocks, yeah, you know, barricade. it's like people, come on, nobody's doing this to be mean. We're doing it to help us. That's what but staying at home guess, and safe is all about. I guess that doesn't make for a good movie, though. Or a, a yeah, we have to have, a, yes, have, to have a chase scene, an right? Movie, yeah. So the next one wait, wait, was. I'm not done. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the thing that a couple of these movies had in common yeah. was flocks, fleets of helicopters charging oh, into the town. Yeah. Just oh, that's fairly dramatic. Yeah, I heard one yesterday going over here. Uh -oh. Kind of scared me. Oh. <laughs> Did you put your mask Along on? with all the. Ambulances that go by every no, day. Oh, okay. That's the last <laughs> time I want to hear you talk about that. For now. Because yeah. I talk about it every day and yes, keep it covered. It so, what this movie had um, in common with at least one of the others was really the, the willing suspension of disbelief. Yeah. And so, it's the helicopters and the army and, and blowing through roadblocks and, and the colored. Uh, coughing stuff but even now since we've watched the first one we've been we've been observing more and talking more and watching more tv of course and so it is not that far from reality today oh, no. in 2020 no, no and so i have i have to find myself balancing out suspending my d disbelief willingly about the drama yeah. and the level of drama and graphics. Right. But then, immediately after that, we both agreed. This is the same as It's now. what's happening now. 25 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Even though we knew this was coming, yeah. we weren't ready for it. Are we ready now? <laughs> yes. Yeah, right. All right. So I'm going to jump to 2007. That was 1995. The next film, and this wasn't necessarily in the order we watched them, but the order in which they were made, came a movie called Pandemic. It was a movie with Faye Dunaway, Tiffany Thiessen, Vincent Spano, and Eric Roberts. Um, what do you think about that one? I didn't like it. I, no, I wondered it was, who their, their dialogue writers were yeah. because it was overly simplified. It, it, was, it yeah. was a B-grade movie. It was B grade. They tried to jam all this stuff in. But even though it was, it was what's happening now. Yeah. It was people on an airplane, someone carried it, people got sick, they started spreading it. You take one person. Oh, wait a minute. What? The airplane scene. The scene that went well, on about 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. Even yeah. though it takes 12 yeah. hours to get from Australia to Los Angeles. Yeah. Well, it's a movie. It, it, seemed, <laughs> it seemed like the flight. In the movie, it was almost that long. Yeah. But this this surfer boy kid yeah. who had got contaminated and didn't know it, he gets on the plane along with all these other innocent people. Yeah. Uh, one criminal, but that's yeah. another substory. In handcuffs. In handcuffs. <laughs> and he goes to the to the head and, and latrine, or whatever, lavatory, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and then tries to go back to his seat, and of course he bounces off everybody, coughs on everybody, spits yeah. on everybody, leans on everybody's <laughs> laps. It might have been just a bit overdone. Oh, you think? Yeah. You think so? <laughs> and of course, yeah. every single one of the key people that he, whose laps he falls into, appears in, in pieces of the rest of the movie. Yeah. So we're set up for yeah. Yeah. character. And it was, it was. It was a little bizarre in how some people got sick, like, instantly. And other people were like, weeks later, they finally got the cough. I mean, it seemed very... And, and they were trying to do too much in too short a period of time. Yeah. So it, everything was really like jump shots. It was boom, 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 boom. And it wasn't very good acting. Um, but as as I said... 
there they were in the hazmat outfits and um, and and the uh, everything the that they're wearing today. The, the, they look just the like P P E. Well, that's right, just like the um, P F P personal P F D is. P P P E P P E. Anyway, they um, you know it was it was a strange little. Um, uh, movie. It wasn't very good, but we could still relate to it in what was happening and what's happening now. Yeah, uh, so and and Faye Dunaway looked great. The governor. The governor. The governor. The Jerry Brown. Of <laughs> and the, the mayor Brown. looked really good too, Eric Roberts, who's Julia Roberts' brother. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. No, all right. So no, are we no, done with no, this no, one? Not at all. <laughs> it because was a, not a good. Th movie. This movie, like. And the other two we're going yeah. to talk about, or two of the other three, um, had some subplots, and there was there was fan there were oh. there was family stuff in there. Oh yeah, we had a divorced couple with a boy, and it, they're going through this whole post-divorce family stuff, and then yeah. they end up happily ever after, mostly at the end of the movie. And there were several other trite endings in yeah. this movie where the governor and the mayor. Kind of come together, not lovey dovey. No, but they they made the announcement together yeah. as a as a united force, which we don't see in this country. Yeah, we certainly don't. And it would be it felt good to see people who were one was a Democrat, one was a Republican, mm -hmm. coming together mm -hmm. for the good, for the good, the common good, not yeah. for their own political, you know, the safety, agenda, the safety of the country. Yeah. But this. This also had um, some family, other family stuff going on, yeah. And, and, yeah. Um, yeah. and that tugs at the heartstrings. And, and back to the last movie, yeah. this, and I think in each of these, there's a little girl, and uh, that is followed here and there. Oh. And the last one, that's the one at the end, the monkey one, where she's in the backyard, and the monkey that's on the loose, the monkey that's poisoned. The whole yeah that they're trying to catch trying to catch and she's made a, a pet out of it yeah and oh my we god I don't want to do a spoiler here oh I'm sorry but I'm, yeah that that was scary that scene where you you're any parent or anyone no, yeah. or, you know with feelings would just like cringe at what happened yeah. there so so there's yeah. kids involved oh and they were tug they were, on the heartstrings. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you just whipped that away, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. All right. So now the next one was in 2011, uh, I believe. I bet you're going to talk about Contagion. <gasps> that was my favorite. It was your favorite? Yep. I haven't figured out mine. I really, really, because it seemed like it was exactly what we're doing now. And that was the scariest thing for me, that it was really up on what we're doing. It just seemed so real to me. Yeah. Um, well, Matt, and that had oh, what, Matt, Matt Damon, Damon, Gwyneth Paltrow, Kate Winslet, Jude Law, Elliot Gould, and Lawrence Fishburne. I've I never didn't heard. know. I did Lawrence. Oh, he's wonderful. And um, you, I didn't know that Elliot Gould was in it. Yeah, well, he was. <laughs> I don't even remember that part. But boy, um, what the thing that struck me is how it just took that one person. And I will do a little spoiler alert. It was Gwyneth Paltrow who spread the spread. How could it. She'd be so stupid to do that. She spread it, and um, and it was just that one person that it's like dominoes. And she was a hero type in the movie, yeah. but she didn't know what she was doing. She was trying to play a constructive role in some sort, and she's in a uh, gambling casino in Hong Kong, I think. And it shows well, that's her. That's sort of at the end. Sipping. Right? No, it. it goes back to that at yeah. the end. Yeah. But we see yeah. it at the beginning too. Yeah. Um, I think. Well, to my memory. Yeah. And it shows at the end, flashing back to her sipping a cocktail and um, this and that. All these love, these um, incidents of contact yeah. with people. And, random stuff. And that was what they were trying to show with the flashbacks. That it's it was. Airborne and touching contact, yeah. contact, and and how 
when they did the flashback, as you said, she touched the guy, the guy did this and that. And at the beginning, we follow all those, not knowing exactly what the relationship is until the end when they flash back. It's kind of like a, a, a line of dominoes on their edge, and you yeah. tip the first one, and then they're all... And some go that out. way, and some go that yes, way. Yes, they do. And, it's, and, it's, and that, that's one thing that every one of these had in, in common was that it just was one person. It just took that one. And that's what we're seeing now. Mm -hmm. And that if we social isolate, we can stop that That It's absolutely true. It's proven true. We're here in South Korea, uh, Germany, Denmark, Mm -hmm. um, Taiwan. They're, They're all so far ahead of us because they immediately did the social distancing and yeah. shut everything down. And now they're coming out of it safely. Because uh, they waited until, and, and just tonight, we, they're on the news, this, this disease <laughs> specialist um, said, you know, we're not ready for, to go back yet. We could be undoing every step we've taken to get this far. Yeah, the, and when we talk about essential businesses, now this is a matter of opinion, particularly among women, yeah. um, that hair salons might not be essential, even though maybe in another sense they're very essential. But the, the hair salon owners that were interviewed on right. the news today said, no, we don't no, want to open we're scared. even though we're told yeah. we should. They don't want to take the responsibility of infecting someone or getting infected and taking it home to their families. Yeah. It's, and they wrote a letter to the governor yeah. here in Maine. Anyway, so uh, the other thing that some of these movies had, like Contagion and I believe um, Pandemic, um, maybe Outbreak as well, they, they showed panic. They showed oh, people absolutely. panicking because of, um, and we've seen that with people hoarding toilet paper and, and other things that people think, you know, they're not going to be there. So we, you know, and, and you get that feeling of panic where people are scared. And in this, they, they actually showed really um, uh, uh, mm-hmm. severe looting. Um, because people just went crazy thinking they're not going to get their medicine. Medicine, they're not going. We saw that too. Mm-hmm. Stealing drugs That's that they true. think were going to help, and then finding out that they weren't the right drugs. Yeah. That's happened here this time right. around. Um, Everything that we've seen in these three movies we're talking about has yeah. happened here. Yeah. A little less dramatically, yep. or a lot less dramatically, but the same thing. Exactly. So whoever was writing these movies. Um, was doing research from previous pandemics, yeah. uh, SARS and MERS and, and 1918 and all that stuff. So and I think some of it wasn't maybe that research, but they thought, well, this could happen. Yeah. And it has happened. Yeah. Now, the, the, the fourth movie we're going to talk about is a little different, uh, Very different. kind of show. Same topic. Same the name. Approach, same name. Pandemic, but well, it was a documentary. Absolutely. About. And so the drama was more real. I mean, mm-hmm. when they're saying, here, here are the numbers right. of the rate of increase and, and all that stuff. And they interviewed real people real who people. were in the field, were on the battle line for the bird flu. Mm-hmm. It started in Australia. Yep. It did. And I guess this was an Australian documentary. It, I think it was. Yeah. It was excellent. But it was scary. It was as scary as these Hollywood movies that were well, trying to sensationalize and be scary. This was scary for real. So what's more scary? Overly dramatized stuff or hard facts? Hard facts. Yeah. I go with that every yeah. time. Yeah. I really think so. It... I mean, and, and they talk about, you know, people who refuse to get vaccinated. And, oh, and, that plays in, too. You know. That's playing in here in May right yeah. now. Everyone's like, we got to get a vaccination. But there are people who don't want to be vaccinated. Yeah. And that prolongs the, yeah. the, 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 the disappear, the getting rid of this so, kind of a virus. And brings up, every time, the... Uh, the attempt to to identify the intersection between the common good, the safety of the common good, yep. and people's individual freedoms. Yep. 
yeah. which is yeah. a major political yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, issue here. But you can't have freedoms without, you know, saving your population. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, we need each other. We need each other in order to have freedoms. You know, we're all, we all have different roles mm -hmm. in this world. And we need all of us to, 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 to have those roles and, and have discussion and dialogue, but we need to be healthy. And we need to be alive. And, and there were certainly antagonists, like the guy who would not be contained at getting off the oh. uh, flight from Australia to oh. LA, yeah. X. Yeah. And uh, of course, this is a cool little subplot. Yeah. Um, but he says, "I'm I'm bigger than this. I'm not going to catch this thing. I don't believe in this stuff anyway." And of course, his end was as painful as anybody else's. Yeah. End. We were. Yeah. We weren't really cheering for his no. illness, but it, it just pointed up how selfish he was. He was not only selfish, but he took many of the people who had been quarantined in the hospital away when there was a, uh, we won't tell you what it was, but something happened so that the people guarding the hospital and the doctors were taken away from the area where these people from the airplane were, and he just led them out the door. Yeah. You know, sheep to slaughter, basically. And then he, that was another scene, like in that Dustin Hoffman one, where he gathered these guys around in their big pickup trucks. Oh. and blew through the barricades again. Yeah, yeah. Um, it just shows, you know, when you're not thinking, and, and a lot of it's from fear, yep. you know, but you've got to just take a breath and realize, you know, we've got to be do this together yeah. and have some leadership, so which we don't really have. Panic, demonium, you know, yeah. the, whole, the whole thing. Yeah. So... So I found another one we can watch and oh, we can tell them about it later. There is a whole, when I was yeah. doing this research, I know. Uh, yeah. a whole list of them. So. Yeah, there's a new one that just came out in January this year about this that we haven't seen. So someone's seen. filming what it's, we're going through right it's, now? It's a series of, of things, and so we're going to check that one out. All right. Well, f this was great, and, and at the end of this, what do you, okay, let's see. Outbreak, what do you give, thumbs up, thumbs down? Oh, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah, contagion. Uh, contagion. Thumbs Double up. Thumbs up. Um, panic the dark. Pandemic. <laughs> I got you, don't I? Uh, pandemic. <laughs> pandemic. The documentary. I. Uh, thumbs up. Yeah. And then the other one, the other pandemic. The B grade one. It was fun to watch, but I just groaned at the. Yeah, the you kind of. So trite. You kind of yeah. It was. Totally you wanted trite. to laugh at times when it really you. It wasn't a it movie was, to laugh at, no. but but I'm, I'm going to give that thumbs down. But worth watching if you know you want to do a comparison like we've done. Yeah, so it'll ring true. I mean, like a yeah. lot of movies that you go see to to get out of your own life. Yeah, that's why you go to the movies a lot of the time. Not yeah. this time. Yeah, you're just looking yeah. at the world that's surrounding you. And a lot of people aren't doing what we're doing, watching this unfold you know like all the horrors of what we could face i think Stoker there's something face. wrong with us that we we really you know i feel like i it helps me in some way i don't know why do you feel well, that way well today's paper had a comparison of how canada and the u.s right next to each other the same yeah, continent yeah. have treated this yeah so, so two similar yeah. countries yeah and Very you know, different. except for one or two uh, Battles of 1812, we could be the same country. Yeah, so. I thought Maine should have been part of Canada, but <laughs> yeah. that didn't happen. Well, let's go and watch something funny now. <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll report back <laughs> how that worked out. Okay, well, Leslie Siskel, and this has been Roger delightful. Ebert. <laughs> okay. Let's go make our next show back to cooking again. But maybe we'll have another log of movies and we can report on. Yeah, I think this is great. I think we're going to be here um, for a few more uh, days. For a few, a few more, more days. Weeks. Yeah. yeah. All right. So thanks, thanks. Folks. thanks for watching. Yeah, go turn on your TV. Yeah. <laughs> Watch a Netflix show. Bye. Bye.